a lot of times I'm debugging something and I add console logs and then I have to scroll through a huge list of different logs, warnings, errors, and stuff in the console in order to find what the log is that I want. Um, there's a really easy way to get around this. So um, a lot of times I would add something that's like console log uh, and then just to make sure I see it, I would add like all these, I'm gonna make this text bigger for you. I would add all these dashes in and then say like, this is the thing or whatever I wanted to do and then add more dashes. That way, when I do this, it's very clear, oh, here, this is the thing because it has all these dashes. That's not necessary. Um, instead of doing that, you are still gonna have errors, warnings, logs, info, debug. Um, this UI in Chrome is gonna be slightly different, but this is Firefox. So instead of doing that, you can just do console debug. And now we can filter out our other things that we don't care about. So now you just see this is the thing and you can see I added other debug statements previously. Um, and one thing that you can also do with uh, console debug or console log, it doesn't matter, is you can say um, percent %c. Uh, and this is kind of an interesting syntax, but um, this is on Mozilla Developer Network docs if you want to check it out. And I'll link that in the description. But then you can say like, this is more stuff. And then, um, so you'll add a second parameter here. And this second parameter will be CSS basically. So this percent %c is saying apply CSS to this statement. And now in here we can say like color is um, white. And then our font size is going to be uh, 20 pixels. And we can say, um, I don't know, what else would we want? Text decoration is, uh, no, let's just add a border. So let's say border is gonna be four pixels dashed um, green. Let's see if that works. Okay, so now we do this. And now you can see it's very obvious what the thing is that I'm trying to log out. Uh, it's in the debug statement. And then I'm adding CSS to it. So honestly, probably won't use CSS that much. It's like kind of overkill, um, but just some food for thought there. If you just select the debug icon and then you just run a console.debug, then you don't have to worry about all of this other stuff and sift through, even if you have CSS. But those things should help you while you're debugging and logging stuff and uh, trying to understand how your programs work in the browser. And we'll see you in the next video.